I know it's been a while since last time, last videos. I've often stuff's happened, so I've taken a bit of a break. But now I am back and raring to go with an entirely new schedule and game plan moving forward. So without further ado, let's start up with this mission by heading to the K Cafe. Oh, Caleb, how long have you been there? Looks like your many years of experience as a detective have made you a master of stealth. No, that can't be right. What am I worried about? Damn it, how could you tell? You're too, you're too good at the detective stuff. Well, maybe it's better to ask you about this anyway. Doesn't seem like I'm going to solve this one on my own. And now I've got to go back down to actually start the quest. Flowers for Sakura. Friend will be getting off hospital soon and you want to give her a present. But careful, keep your voice down here. Sakura, she's not my girlfriend yet. Hmm, not yet. What on earth does that mean? Uh, um, I will. Look, if you want to give her a present, just give her whatever you want. I'd like to get something a girl would like. Would you help me choose something? <laughs> but I know you have to pay for this if it's an official case, right? That's okay, I just want to have. The best possible present. Okay. Well, I mean, she's getting out of the hospital, that's all. Don't you think you're taking this a bit too far? Jeez, get out of that, somebody. I know you're detecting all, but stop constantly analyzing, analyzing every little thing for once. Mm -hmm. This person will love mine not to take on a case of mass, I completely understand it. But okay, I suppose you can make an exception, just for now. Just for now? That sounds scary. I need money in order to buy the present so I'll get a part time job. I heard about some good haunted spots outside of Eden, but I'll still need your help. Hmm, you still working? Uh, working in ghost photography? Hmm, well, I guess that's fine. So we're looking for something a girl would like. Sorry, but I stopped thinking like a girl a long time ago. And you're too worldly, so that leaves us with a bit of a problem. In this situation, I think you should ask your feminine friends. Hmm? Your feminine friends? What about that? Well, it's not really feminine, but I had to say, I'd say it seems like kind of a childish romantic to me. Maybe you could? Well, she's not really the type. She's naive, and probably wouldn't care about what kind of present it was, I'd say. Nokia, maybe? Perfect. She's probably not really the kind of person, but at least she will try her best. Or at least that's how she seems to me. Hmm, I think she's in Shinjuku right now. Go and ask her for her opinion on girls' presents. Okay. This will be a relatively easy mission. I'm dead. <coughs> to Shinjuku. And where is Nokia? Okay, so she's not around this part of it. Well, she must be in the alleyway. Oh, down here. Uh, 
Okay. I mean, I could always ask her. Uh, peasants to get the girls. You're looking for peasants to get the girl? Capturing the heart of a fair maiden or whatever. Hearing that kind of trap just makes me think, think we'll back up 100% turn off. Just so you know. Eh. I kind of figured that would happen. I still wanted to see what would happen if I did that. For a girl. Do you have any more information than that? Hmm, a girl's present. Caleb, why are you asking me about this? My god, you need someone, don't you? But you already have me. Wait, that might... Oops, you can't have me all to yourself. You need to find someone else, that's probably it. I guess I'm just too intimidating for most guys. If nobody else gets close to me because they're afraid, not a good sign. But Caleb and me, we aren't like that. As rebels, we all share the same goal, the same idea. We have a special relationship that can overcome any obstacle. Oh god. So, what's the request again? Ah, it was about the present for a girl. It came to the right place. I happen to be an expert on that map on the map. When it comes to presents for girls, you can't go wrong with accessories. Accessories! Girls eat, sleep, and breathe accessories. They're a little pricey. Well, what about a necklace from Vivian's? Let's discuss it back at the office. Okay. Necklace. Not bad. I think anything over a thousand bucks would hurt our high school students' wallet a bit too much. Yeah, the price is one thing, but honestly, but honestly, rather than getting her something so girly, I think we'd actually be better to give her something romantic. I think that shows that I've put some thought into it. Hmm, a romantic present. I know I said I wouldn't ask too many questions. I have one for you now. Huh? What are you talking about? You know she's getting out of the hospital. Why are you so, so concerned with getting her such an amazing present? This is this is a chance for me, me to tell Sakura, to tell her how I feel. About how I feel. Hmm. And what exactly would that be? Well, I mean, you know what? That I that I love her. Love. Love? Do you like this like a girl? Well, of course I do. Why else would I want to tell her how I feel? I see. But why do you like her? Well, I don't even know. I guess I just can't leave her. I want to be with her. I'm the uh, only one who can protect Sakura. Oh, I don't I'm the only one who can protect you, Sakura. I'm the only one who can protect you, Sakura. I'm the only one who can protect you, Sakura. Wait, hey, stop that. Stop saying that. Stop it. Enough already. That's it. Now, do what I heard you to do. <laughs> oh, damn. You're really such a self conscious teenage boy. But he's an honest kid. You should definitely keep helping him. Now then, mm, a romantic present. I think we need to go looking for a romantic friend of yours and ask their opinion on this. What do you think? So, a romantic friend. Arata? Exactly, you wouldn't think so. I'd say he's a quite a romantic. I think he's in Akahabra. We'll ask him about a romantic present. Okay, so off to Akahabra we go. He's easier to spot than Nokia was. And he is. Hmm? What do you need from me? 
Uh, of course I'm gonna ask this random person to be a romantic present. See, si, romantic present. Oh yes, why not an invitation to an all-you-can-eat buffet at a nice hotel? Being able to eat your fill of sweets is every woman's dream. Okay. Is there any more people that I can ask that question to? I don't think so, besides Arata. Yeah, just Arata. Oh yeah, there you go. Question for me? Romantic present. Hmm, you're looking for a romantic present for a girl. Yes, I am. Romantic. That's kind of old fashioned, don't you think? Anyway, why are you, so, why are you specifically asking me this? Huh? Am I romantic? What are you talking about? What? You're here at Kyoko's behest? I don't think why she would say such a thing. Hmm, romantic, you say? That's it! How about something like... Like poison and a dagger? Huh? What with the face? It would be such a romantic present. You know, like Romeo and Juliet? You've heard of them, right? I know, but I'm not. It's one of Shakespeare's tragedies. It's about the forbidden love of Romeo and Juliet. Romeo thinks Juliet has died, so he drinks poison and kills himself. But Juliet is actually alive, and when she sees that Romeo is dead, she takes a dagger and sticks it in her own heart. So what do you think? Romantic, right? Well, I don't know. That's just something... There's just something touching about such a profound and dramatic gesture. A romantic present, and that's that. <laughs> it's a joke, it's just a joke. You're the one who labeled me as a weirdo, I was just getting back at mm -hmm. Romantic present. But take it to a theme park. Have you... Have you never heard that memories are better than possessions? The ride the rides, see the parade, kiss underneath the starry sky. You always like that kind of stuff, right? Discuss it back in the office. Oh, we're going to a theme park kissing under a static sky. Just like I thought, it's quite romantic. Do you think? Should they enjoy a date at the theme park? Hmm. Um, uh, date. Uh, date. I feel like going on a date should be the next step. First, like to get her a present that really grabs her. You sure do have a lot of conditions? Actually, I've been thinking, I'd rather the present wasn't too unusual. Something simple, but elegant. Hmm, actually, you have a good point there. But simple but elegant is a bit ambiguous. Okay then, I've got to go to my job. Please go on, I'll speak with you later. It's the third time he's done that. I guess I should be used to it by now. But I don't get why he keeps leaving us to do all the work. So something simple but elegant. She's not simple, but there's only one friend of yours you can think of would give that kind of advice. So, Yoko. Yeah, it looks like she's at Kamashiro right now. Please go and ask her about something simple but elegant. You should be able to tell you something useful anyway. Okay, is that the building or the URL? I am going to go to the building first. Because if it's the URL, I will know as soon as I get there. Uh, it's here.
Okay. I hide over to Shinjuku so I can quickly get to the server. Enterprises. And as usual, I am going to talk to the red heading. Ask see how they will react to the question. What? You have a question? Simple is good. What are you talking about? If you're going to be acting crazy, I'm calling security. That was a bit anti drug client map The other two were quite interesting. Anywho, let's go talk to Yoko. Well, our relationship may be fallen with the bonds of friendship. To touch me so brazenly is. Oh, you've got something to ask me? Simple is good. Hmm, you look for something simple. Delicious for. Oh, sorry. Simple and elegant. My bad. Um, what do you mean by. What do you mean exactly? Please explain in a bit more detail. Of course, looking for something a girl would like. I get it now. But I don't think that's the best plan. Hmm? For starters, it's a present for someone that picked up with somebody who doesn't know them. If give her needs to think about what the recipient might like, it might make her happy. Think seriously, consider it, under it, pull it over, then choose the best possible present. That's what giving a present is all about. It's not what you get, it's the time and energy spent thinking about what might make the other person happy. That's the present's true value. Please tell this client you can't tell them the present. Think as carefully as he can about the person who wants to give the gift to. Hmm, me? What would make me happy? Hmm, that's a good question. Onigiri. Hmm, that's what I'd want. Origini made with love. A nice big origini. What? Onigiri is no good? the best time spent thinking. She says the time speaking of the best possible present was the true gift. Hmm, she has a point there. Oh, of course, that's it. That's exactly what I should do. Think about it seriously on my own. Think about what would make Sakura happiest. Okay, thanks Caleb and Kyoko. Woohoo! He's literally still a square one. Well, oh well. Did he really need to go running and shouting like that? And where the hell is he going anyway? This is wasting me. And that is the end of this quest. Curious to see how this better romance turns out. In the end, I wish him the best of luck out oh, there in courting her. That is the end of chapter 9. We are starting chapter 10 next that week. Zaxon, Haku of Zaxon, what about Edo's protocol? 
しかしそのアンダーゼロエデン発足と同時に接収されて情報制御を作る無人今では世界最高レベルのセキュリティが施された単なるよアンダーゼロエデン最古のサーバーバルハラサーバーと我々ハッカーの我々のエデンに新たな秩序をもたらすためにこの監視と監視に満ちた疑問だらけの自由を打破するためにこの監視と監視に満ちた疑問だらけの自由を打破するためにこの監視と監視に満ちた疑問だらけの自由を打破するためにわれわれザクソンは今より聖地アンダーゼロの奪還を宣言する志を同じくする者がいるならば目指せアンダーゼロアンダーゼロやらはりましたな、熱の入った飲食店なかなかのもんでしたわ将来は立派エデンを守るためなら